Welcome to the Find My New Life podcast. I'm Christopher Lapine, spiritual liberation author and speaker. This podcast brings you inspiration, hope, and answers for how to live a modern, God-centered spiritual life. It will help you have a more direct, deeper experience of God, find more happiness, and live your incredible God-given destiny. You can find all my podcasts, as well as videos, books, and more at findmynewlife.com. So, let's get started with today's show. Hello, this is Chris. This is the podcast for February the 19th, 2023, my eighth podcast of the year, How to Find Peace, Discovering the Ultimate Foundation. So welcome, welcome today, everybody. It's great to have you here. And I'm guessing that the reason you're listening to the podcast is that you don't feel the level of peace that you want to feel, that you've got some disturbances in your life, some challenges, and you just want to find some peace. Um, we are hit with a lot of things these days. That's obvious. If you just look around the world, the turmoil, it seems to be increasing and accelerating and becoming more and more complex. Um, there are problems all around us. There are things in our lives that um, unsettle us, uh, make us feel anxious. And so it's easy, I think, sometimes to just feel um, completely unsettled, um, threatened, uh, afraid, you name it. But I want to assure you, whatever you're feeling, that the divine can help and that you can go direct to the divine. So this podcast today is going to give you several things. So please stay with me through the entire podcast and uh, you won't be disappointed, I promise. The first thing it's going to give you is a different perspective on finding peace, the source of peace. You're going to also have a way to tap directly into the source of peace, a reliable way you can do every day that is going to make an immediate impact you can feel today, right after this podcast. Uh, you're going to feel more hope. As you realize this new perspective, this new way, you're going to feel more hope, which will give you more energy to move forward in your life. And you're going to feel more peace. So all of these things together will definitely help you. Now, you may be on medication. You may be working with a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I'm not saying that you take these things away, um, but what I'm saying is you've got to make your own decisions about what's best for your health and your peace. But I do know that what I'm going to share in this podcast today will help you um, if you put the effort in, if you open your mind. And that's really the most important thing here. And there is hope. There really is. And it just takes a few adjustments in your mind and being more and more consistent every day over time. The first is come with an open heart, come with an open mind, be willing to just pause some of those assumptions you have about the universe, about God, about your inner spirit, about the nature of peace, about the nature of God. Um, and also listen to what your inner spirit is telling you. Just trust it, listen to it, and it's going to bring you forward and help you out. Let it help you grow. Let that growth, that hope for growth, grow inside you. It really isn't too good to be true. And make, uh, make your own decisions, of course, in the end. Go forth and um, just t take that risk. So the source of our anxiety and agitation, I think, is pretty obvious. You know, we all, we're, we're humans, period. Um, and it's just part of being human. The animal mind that we have seeks stasis, seeks tranquility, seeks comfort, seeks ease. And so anything that's challenging it or agitating it um, disturbs that animal peace. And the animal peace is very easy to disturb, extremely easy. Um, it could be lack of food. It could be uh, threat, different types of threats from people or situations. And I'm not saying that those things aren't real, but that's what the animal mind is focused on, period. So uh, the key is really to 
transcend the animal mind. Those needs are still there. Those threats are still there. Those challenges are still there in our lives. But really the key is transcending it to where the peace that you have, that inner citadel that you have, that inner secure place is going to enable you to have the peace. You're also going to need to think about your inner hunger. That's what's really going to drive you forward. So just remember why you're seeking peace um, and realize that you cannot satisfy your inner hunger with the outer world. You just can't. You have to go inside to get that foundation of peace. You've, and we've all seen people who are trying to do many different things to satisfy themselves inside by using the outside. It could be um, they're playing power trips on people. It could be they're materialistic. Um, they're putting too much emphasis on their career, achievement, achievement, control, um, relationships, drugs, you name it. Um, they, they're seeking to fill the void inside with outer stimulation. And it never, never works. It can numb you, uh, but you never reach the real source. So you and I have to go inward. That's where the source is, and it works every time. So here's the approach to peace. First, we need to go direct to the source, and that source is within you. When you go inside and you embrace that source, you immerse yourself in the source, you're going to find eternal infinite, total comfort, assurance, and security. You're going to be immersing yourself in the divine spirit within you. And that divine spirit was sent by the creator. It's unique. It's just for you. And it's an actual piece of the creator. I'll say it again. It's unique. It's just for you. And it is an actual fragment of the creator of the entire universe. Your eternal spirit of God, right from God. And the other thing you're going to need is regular habits of nourishment and exercise. And I'm talking spiritual nourishment and exercise. Um, we use real energy. Um, battling the world disturbs us, and we need to be able to tap into that inner peace and assurance, and it gets drained just like a battery. So if we're going through and we're just not doing that, we're going to feel fearful. We're going to feel disturbed, and it's going to be very difficult. So again, regular habits are critical. To recap, we got to go direct to the source within, and there we're going to find eternal comfort, total peace, and it's the immersion in your unique spirit from the creator of the universe that's going to give you real peace. And we have to regularly, daily, go to that spirit within and immerse ourselves to find the peace. Now, just saying it, of course, doesn't do it. So here's the next critical piece for us. And that is, we have to have a real sincere desire to know the truth. Because along with the peace comes the truth. It's almost like the truth is really a doorway to the peace. So if you just go in and you're not willing to come with an open mind, if you're not really sincere about wanting the truth, if you're not sincere about wanting to grow, you're not going to be able to reach the peace because the peace comes when your animal mind, your ego lets go of its assumptions, its prejudices, and its control and takes on the revelations from God within. And through those, you can have that total peace. So you need to be able to completely embrace the truths that are going to emerge in your mind. The truths you're going to have revealed to you are, you're going to feel this, that the spirit of the creator lives within you. Feel that now. Let that truth sink in. The spirit of the creator of the universe is inside you you. You are a child of God. You are beloved. You are known. You are spiritually protected. 
God is your loving divine parent, the creator of the entire universe, loves you. That is the overarching characteristic of God. God loves you. God is your loving Heavenly Father. God is your loving Universal Father, Envisioner, Creator, Upholder, Protector of the entire universe. And His plan includes all of us, and each of us, including you, has a unique destiny that only you can fulfill. Trust. Faith is the doorway. And faith means that when you feel these things, you allow yourself to change your way of thinking and your life because of the, the acceptance, the belief. It's that acceptance. It's that total trust. When you trust God to the level that a small child trusts a loving and kind parent, when you give God that total trust then you can begin to accept the revelations of truth and power and love only when you trust. Only when you open your arms and you will realize that we are all sisters and brothers on this huge adventure. And you will find that total peace. Now, it's not like a light switch where you can just push a button and you get instant peace. And... um Especially in today's world, we have to calm down a little bit, relax, and make time for God. It's like any other relationship. But God is a real person who wants to know you directly. God's in you already. So it's just spending time with God. Groups are still important. It's good to socialize in um, healthy churches, healthy religious organizations. That's fine. Or if you want to be alone. That's fine too. Just the important thing is that it's that total trust in God within, which is the doorway to peace and your amazing destiny. True peace actually and truly passes all understanding. It's beyond what the mind can really comprehend, this unbelievable peace. But think about it. When you immerse yourself in the presence, the actual substance of the universal father, of the creator, the infinite one of the universe, when you take your humanness and merge it with that love and that power, that transforming power, you are going to begin to find peace. And the more you dip in, the more you immerse yourself, the more you will find that divine alchemy. And that's actually another podcast that I've done. You might want to check out. But it's that divine alchemy that helps you grow. Now you, have to, you have to move forward. You have to get that nourishment and then go out in the world and try things and exercise and use some faith. Or the peace really won't grow. Um, but you will have the power to do that. So what are the results? Um, what, are the, what are the characteristics of this peace? Well, it's the ultimate foundation If you don't feel the peace, if you don't feel that assurance and security, it's hard to go out there in the world and do things. We just want to keep our heads down and survive. But when you feel that actual power and peace, then you are released for the kind of life that you are meant to live. So here's a quotation from Jesus from the Arantia book, which really emphasizes that inside that eternal peace. Much of man's sorrow is born of the disappointment of his ambitions and the wounding of his pride. Although men owe a duty to themselves to make the best of their lives on earth, having thus sincerely exerted themselves, they should cheerfully accept their lot and exercise ingenuity in making the most of that which has fallen to their hands. All too many of man's troubles take origin in the fear soil of his own natural heart. Quote, the wicked flee when no man pursues. Unquote. Quote, the wicked are like the troubled sea, for it cannot rest, 
but its waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, says God, for the wicked. Unquote. Seek not for false peace and transient joy, but rather for the assurance of faith and the sureties of divine sonship which yield composure, contentment, and supreme joy in the Spirit. That's the kind of peace we're talking about. That's the kind of peace that you can find. Again, it's cultivating that total trust within. It's not going to happen instantaneously, but you will feel progress. When you put effort in, you will begin to see results. Just let it grow. So here's a quote from the Arantia book about Jesus, and sometimes they refer to him as Michael, his divine name. But this emphasizes the significance of this peace. Jesus gives peace to his fellow doers of the will of God, but not on the order of the joys and satisfactions of this material world. Unbelieving materialists and fatalists can hope to enjoy only two kinds of peace and soul comfort. Either they must be Stoics, with steadfast resolution, determined to face the inevitable and to endure the worst, or they must be optimists, ever indulging that hope which springs eternal in the human breast, vainly longing for a peace which never really comes. A certain amount of Stoicism and optimism are serviceable in living a life on earth, but neither has aught to do with that superb peace which the Son of Man bestows upon his brethren in the flesh. The peace which Michael gives his children on earth is that very peace which filled his own soul when he himself lived the mortal life in the flesh and on this very world. The peace of Jesus is the joy and satisfaction of a God-knowing individual who has achieved the triumph of learning fully how to do the will of God while living the mortal life in the flesh. The peace of Jesus' mind was founded on an absolute human faith in the actuality of the Divine Father's wise and sympathetic overcare. Jesus had trouble on earth. He has even been falsely called the Man of Sorrows. But in and through all of these experiences, he enjoyed the comfort of that confidence which ever empowered him to proceed with his life purpose in the full assurance that he was achieving the Father's will. Jesus was determined, persistent, and thoroughly devoted to the accomplishment of his mission. But he was not an unfeeling and callous stoic. He never sought for the cheerful aspects of his life experiences, but he was not a blind and self-deceived optimist. The master knew all that was to befall him, and he was unafraid. After he had bestowed this peace upon each of his followers, he could consistently say, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The peace of Jesus is then the peace and assurance of a son who fully believes that his career for time and eternity is safely and wholly in the care and keeping of an all-wise, all-loving, and all-powerful Spirit Father. And this is, indeed, a peace which passes the understanding of the mortal mind, but which can be enjoyed to the full by the believing human heart. So, friends, I ask you to open your heart as we think about finding that peace which we all desire. It's about trusting in your divine, loving, universal Father. Everything that you need to grow spiritually, to move forward and transform yourself, to help you feel better, to give you that foundation of peace, everything that you need is going to be provided to you when you need it, in the way you need it, when you need it, for as long as you need it. But only if you go within and regularly, daily seek that peace and believe 
Believe what you are experiencing. Don't push it away. Accept it and let it change your life. Believe that you are a child of the Father, the creator of the entire universe, and that you will be taken care of. Act and go forward. You have amazing value and potential. Only you can fulfill your destiny, and we need each other. I need you. I need what you can provide to this world. You need what I can provide. We're all working in this amazing orchestrated plan. We're all family. You have an astounding future and destiny awaiting. And again, go with faith. Accept and just start to feel that hope and joy. What an amazing, amazing career that we have before us. Um, A universe career. So, friends, um, there is great hope. Begin to do this and you will feel peace, true peace. So thanks again for listening to this podcast today. Appreciate all your support, all your interest. And my goal is really to reach as many people as I can with this podcast to to share the insights and truths that I'm finding in the hope that it'll help you on your journey. So I need your help. And I ask you, if you know of anyone who you think could benefit by this podcast, Share this podcast with them. If you like the podcast, please subscribe. Please follow me. And uh, if you have any ideas or any suggestions about a podcast that you'd like, go to my website at findmynewlife.com and use the contact me button or the ask a question link and just let me know. I wish you the best this week and I know that you are going to find more peace if you go forward and trust within. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening today. I hope it helped you on your journey. Go to findmynewlife.com for all my podcasts and much more. If you'd like to contact me with ideas or requests, use the contact me link on that website. I wish you the best on your spiritual journey. Remember, You are a child of God and we are family. You could claim an amazing destiny. See you next time.